cheats or die. Final score from San Francisco, California. I think they call it Santa Clara now. The new candlestick, your Kansas City Chiefs, 44. The San Francisco 49ers out for revenge from Super Bowl 54. 23. You didn't get it. Chiefs got it, baby. And the Chiefs head to the bye at 5 and 2. How sweet it is. Alone in first place because the Seattle Seahawks took care of the Chargers who came into today's game tied with the Chiefs. So we're going to thank the, Char the Seahawks. We're going to thank the Seahawks for taking care of Denver. And we're going to thank the Seahawks for taking care of the Chargers. Now people might be saying, hold on Shaggy. Is this a Chiefs post-game show or is this a Seattle Seahawks post-game show? This is a Chiefs post-game show. But sometimes you got to give the opposition who's done the Chiefs a couple, couple big wins so far this season by taking care of the Denver Broncos and the Los Angeles Chargers. Because of that Seahawks, because of that Seahawks win, Chiefs are alone in first place at the bye. All right? But enough about Seattle. They still got to beat the Raiders. Then on Christmas, we get to beat Seattle. But right now, we're going to thank them for taking care of Denver and uh, taking care of the Chargers. Thank you, Seattle. We'll see you in Christmas. Now, let's talk about the Chiefs. All right? Hell yes. It didn't start pretty, folks. Son of a gun. It didn't start pretty. In the last two games... The, the opposition, Turk Wharton, the Chiefs went into the Raiders Monday night football game being the number one team in the defense against the run. Turk Wharton got hurt first quarter. Jacobs rushed for 160. Chiefs won, but we still got gashed. Singletary averaged eight yards a pop last week in the Buffalo win over the Chiefs. And it was obvious, man, we're just not stopping the run. People have been asking me, you know, uh, how do you like the Chiefs' chances this Sunday? And I said, if we stop the run, we'll win. The freaking 49ers, man, they came out the first drive and ran right down the Chiefs' throat. Chiefs held them to a field goal. Then Patrick Mahomes on the second offensive play, down three to nothing. He threw an interception, trying to force it to Sky Moore. Uh, we don't know what's going on with Sky Moore just yet. Andy Reid historically does not like to play rookies a lot. Uh, going back to his days in Philadelphia. I'm not going to name every rookie wide receiver. But historically, Andy Reid doesn't play rookie wide receivers much, hardly at all. And Patrick Mahomes had two passes in a row. The game ender against the Bills, forcing it to Clyde edwards lair The safety red sky more coming across, intercepted, Bills won. Patrick Mahomes' first pass play of uh, this game, damn near identical. Sky Moore's crossing, safety reads it, Interception. Sky Moore didn't get on the field after that, but uh, his day only got worse, and we're going to get to that in a second. So the Chiefs, the 49ers went down and um, went up 10 to nothing. <sighs> Without getting into every point in drive, the 49ers did not punt, only punted once this entire game. They, they only punted once. And I want to end this, the negativity right here. That only punt, was fumbled the exact same way as Sky Moore fumbled against the Indianapolis Colts. I don't know why he does this thing when he wants to he wants to catch it. I don't do this much, so bear with me. Watch. I'm going to try to do this. You're supposed to catch a punt like this. You see it? You catch it like this. For some reason, on two of Sky Moore's punts that he's fumbled, he, he gets way out here, and he gets about a yard and a half from the ball that comes, and in the last second, he sticks his arm out and goes, ugh. Sky more, sky more, sky more. You know, and I've defended these rookies because they are rookies. But two fumbles 
you know, four weeks apart in the exact same situation shows he's struggling. As Joel Namath likes to say, he's struggling. He's not catching punts. He's not catching it right here. Just, just catch it. Come underneath it, just like every other freaking punt returner in NFL history, and let it come down, Sky. Look up in the sky, your name. Okay, just look your name. My name's Sky. I'm going to look up. And I'm going to look up in the sky, and I'm going to let it come down and hit me in the chest. What is your freaking deal, dude? I'm not going to pile on you because you're a rookie, but I'm going to tell you this right now. Get your shit together. Enough of that crap. You're already causing Patrick Mahomes interceptions because you're running freaking routes the wrong way. Come on, dude. I can't keep defending you. You can't keep screwing up like that. During this bye, you freaking do whatever you can to study the playbook and get on the same page with Patrick. If he's freaking, if Patrick is on vacation this bye week with his wife and his daughter, you go, you text him, say, hey man, I, I got to text you. We got to get this cleaned up. You have to prove to Chiefs Kingdom Sky that you're not a screw up, okay? Don't be a screw up. Get your crap together because you nearly cost the Chiefs two games, all right? Do it this bye week. Now, the Chiefs defensively, Frank Clark finally showed up in the fourth quarter. Back-to-back -back sacks, a big safety way to go shark. The freaking defense finally stepped up. It was nerve-wracking, man, because the Sneed nearly had a clinching interception. Two plays later, Kittle scores a touchdown. They're within five. And here's where Patrick Mahomes sealed it. Third and 11. And with the Chiefs protecting that five-point lead with 14 minutes left in the game, 49ers fans are going ape. They got all the momentum. Patrick Mahomes hasn't done anything in the fourth quarter, folks, at all, all season. I said, okay, here we go. Patrick knows he's up against it. Third and 11, he gets the time, thank God. He gets enough time. He looks deep and he chucks it. And I'm saying to myself, man, I know Tyreek ain't down there. <laughs> I know baby Cheetah ain't down there because he ran across. Who could be down there to catch this first long momentum shifting pass? We know him as MVS because he's got too many names to say. So MVS, he goes down there and makes a sensational 55-yard catch, burning Charvarius Ward. How's that money, Charvarius? Enjoy that money. Burning Charvarius Ward, MVS makes the catch. The Chiefs are back in control. Hits Juju Smith-Schuster down to the in, down to the goal line. The Chiefs set up a short handoff to Baby Cheetah McCole Hardman, who had a game. Let's look at these kick-ass stats for your victorious Kansas City Chiefs. All right, let's do this. Isaiah Pacheco, Patrick Mahomes, twenty-five of thirty-four for four hundred and twenty-three yards, three touchdowns, one. Interception early. After that interception, Mahomes was nails. Sky Moore grabbed some bench, and Mahomes said, let me handle it with the, some veterans. Uh, Isaiah Pacheco was 8 for 43 in his first NFL start. Clyde Edwards-Lair was 6 for 32. Had a sweet 16-yard run. I like that combination. Isaiah Pacheco and Clyde Edwards-Lair are the only two Chiefs running backs that have a contract with the Kansas City Chiefs next year. McKinnon and Rojo uh, only have one-year contracts. But we're talking this year. We're not talking next year, man. Uh, McCole Hardman had two rushes for 28 yards, two rushing touchdowns. Sweet. That's what he excels at. McCole Hardman in those jet sweeps. Juju Smith-Schuster was seven receptions for 124 yards, a big icing interception that put the Chiefs up 21 points in the fourth quarter. Marquise Valdez-Scanlon had three for 111. Travis Kelsey had six for 98. How sweet was that? We tried to get uh, that 100-yard reception, 100 yards for Kelsey, but he couldn't deliver. Juan Thornhill had the game-clinching interception with a minute and a half left. Let's look at these in a... Joshua Williams back at the end of the first half after Sky Moore fumbled it. Joshua Williams, a rookie, saved Sky Moore, another rookie's ass. Way to step up for your first NFL interception, Josh, and getting Sky Moore out of the doghouse. Well, at least keeping the doghouse front door open, but he's still in it. Chris Jones had two sacks. Frank Clark had a sack and a half, but it looked like two sacks to me. Uh, Chris Jones had two sacks. Willie Gay had a half a sack. That looked like... 
Oh, Willie Gay and Legereus needs to save that snack. Snack. They saved a snack probably later on the flight home. But Willie Gay and Legereus need stat-wise shared a snack. sack. Again, they're still sharing snacks. But I think Willie Gay got that sack because he really had Garoppolo fall, falling all over himself. So I'm going to give that sack to Willie Gay. And uh, really impressive. Really impressive with the Chiefs defense. Again, they only the, the Chiefs played bend but don't break. And it worked today because Patrick Mahomes was Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes was phenomenal, being the man that he is. You know, it's a bye week, and there's a lot of rumors now about Odell Beckham Jr. being Odell Beckham Jr. possibly being picked up uh, this week coming up or before the trade deadline, uh, the first week of November. Um, folks, the Chiefs need a body to replace Turk Wharton. In Shaggy Shane's opinion, I want Ndamukong Su. I want the Chiefs to go look and see and lock, look and see where he is physically, see what it would take to bring him in. I know Travis Kelsey made some salary cap room to help the Chiefs, and uh, right now it could look to help. He says he wants Odell. Would Odell be nice here if he was healthy? Yes. But I think at the end of the day, we're going to have to get these teams off the field because Christian McCaffrey just – first practice with the 49ers was um was Friday. This is the first time in my life I've ever seen a player join a team on Friday and 48 hours later he rushes eight rushes for 38 yards and uh, he was two receptions for 24 yards out of the backfield. Uh, that's unacceptable. How do you how do you alleviate that? You make sure and uh you make sure and get some D-line help. Turk Wharton needs to be replaced. Derek Naughty's not very good. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy going into the bye weeks, folks, but he was getting gashed those first two 49er drives. There was nobody there because Derek Naughty was freaking eight yards back, backpedaling, getting thrown on his back. So I would like to see the Chiefs get some sort of defensive help. Frank Clark again stepped up with two fourth quarter sacks, but how consistent is that going to be the second half of the season? One year ago at this time, let's look at where we are. The Chiefs are 5-2, and two, one game lead over the Chargers, technically two, because the Chiefs won the first time they played each other. The Chiefs got a one-game lead. One year ago, exactly at this time, the Chiefs were in turmoil. The Chiefs were in turmoil. They were 3-4. and four. They just got destroyed 27-3 to three by the Titans. We were in dead last. Halloween was coming up, and uh, Anthony Hitchens, who's not on the team, and Tyron Matthew, who's not on the team, as you know, spent that week trolling Chiefs fans on Twitter and Inst Instagram. Not Chiefs fans trolling Tyron Matthew and Hitchens. They were like looking for people saying bad stuff. So we know that story. That story's old. It's it's a year ago. What the Chiefs did was they signed a veteran. They traded for veteran Melvin Ingram, a low draft pick to the Steelers. The rest is history. He was the defensive MVP. Melvin Ingram was the reason why the Chiefs went to the AFC Championship game. We were uh, 11 and 2 when uh, Melvin Ingram came to the Chiefs, including the playoffs. Both losses. Melvin Ingram suffered while he's with the Chiefs was against the Bengals. The Chiefs need one more spark. They need that on defense. I know people are getting excited about seeing OD, OBJ, Odell Beckham around town, where he's going to go. In my opinion, we need, a, we need somebody to take Turk Wharton's spot on the defense line. We need to shore up that running game because opponents are going to see, man, let's just run. Let's just run. If we can have success running the football, we'll figure out how to score once we get down inside the red zone moving forward. But we should be happy about this win because it showed that the Chiefs and the Bills, Chiefs are right there with the Bills uh, for the AFC. They're right there with them. Uh, in my AFC, in my Shaggy Shane prediction show, in on Labor Day, I had the Chiefs going to Buffalo for the AFC Championship game. I think it's still going to happen. Patrick Mahomes is eventually going to play a road playoff game sometime in his storybook Hall of Fame career. But right now, let's celebrate being in first place all alone by ourselves at the bye. Thanks again, Seattle. You have taken care of Denver, and you have taken care of the Chargers. Beat the Raiders for us, even though they suck. We probably don't need any help from you. But if you could, I'd appreciate it. And so would Chiefs Kingdom. You know, it's bye week. I will be back Tuesday with Arrowhead Allies on the same YouTube link, breaking down the Chiefs bye week and what we should do and what we should expand on. It's, it's going to be a great second half. The Chiefs got a bye this week. 
They can get healthy. They can get rested. They can think about finally getting Trent McDuffie on the practice, onto the freaking field with the team, and then come back in two weeks at Arrowhead, which is four miles from my house, which you know is only a short drive to the countryside where you're going. You can't run and hide. So many questions. Questions like, dang, Shaggy. Do you think Sky Moore is a bust? No. No, he's not a bust. He just needs Marty Schottenheimer, the spirit of Marty Schottenheimer on Halloween to come haunt him and go, Ooh, protect the ball, Sky. You must protect the ball, Sky. This is Marty Schottenheimer on Halloween. Ooh. I will see you on Arrowhead Allies Tuesday on my YouTube page. Come back and join the bad boys. Until then, enjoy this by your Chiefs are in first. <laughs> yeah. Hell of, a lot, hell of a lot better than we were last year at this time. I'll see you guys on Tuesday night on Arrowhead Allies. Until then, this is Shaggy Shane saying, go Chiefs. <laughs>